beautiful people how are you all doing hope you are doing great god bless you for stopping by and god bless you for being part of this channel guys i want to thank all of you who has been stopping by and liking subscribing share guys this evening we have a news on our desk i decided to confirm this news again before i brought it out very recently let's say but uh, one or two weeks ago i made a video about the people that was indicted in extraditing Mazina de Carlo forcefully from Kenya to Nigeria. A lot of people came after me and said a lot of things. No, this is a fake news. We don't want to. This one, the other one. People said a lot. And the last person that commented on that video that this was purely false news. Guys, one of the people that was in that, two of the people indicted in that particular article I read from IPOP is Governor Wike, Nyesu Wike of River State, and one other man like that. What is that his name? Ifanye, the senator Ifanye Oba. Guys, I received a lot of backlash and a lot of thumbs up and a good comment over that video. But a lot of, a lot of people also said it's a fake news. But I knew how I got that information. I later came out and apologized. I said, if you thought that news was a false news, I'm so sorry about that. And I removed that video and put it on a private. Guys, I've released that video again and put it on a public. Go back and watch that video. I also made a video and apologize. Why am I saying all these things, guys? Today, a news broke out by Sahara reporter that IPOB named two Nigerian governors ministered who funded Mazin and the Carlos arrest says they will be worse than Judas. Guys, it's not because I'm just upcoming YouTuber. And when I... I, I I've, you know, one go my way to get authentic news and come up here. Somebody will start telling me it's a fake news. It's a fake news. It's not okay. It's not right. If you don't have any information about something I bring up here in this channel, please, if you read it, if you wish to give me thumbs up, you do. If you don't, just pass by. Let's see. As time goes on, let's see if the news is fake or true. When you don't have any information about anything, you see it from other people's channel. Read, listen, and pass. Don't start commenting negative and giving thumbs down on people's, you know, hard and effort. I lose my sleep and other things. I, I move from one authentic information platform and the other to get information. And at the end of the day, somebody will come and tell me it's a fake news. But after some days, the news is to become a real news. Guys. Today, IPOP is confirming that video I made. But anyway, from Sahara Reporter, for people that will come out and tell me it is a fake news again, from Sahara Reporter, join me to read. And before we get into this news properly, if you've not subscribed to this channel, I am not forcing you. That means you don't like what I do here. But if you do, please help your sister to grow this channel. Subscribe on the bell notification. God bless you as you do so. Let's go there. The indigenous people of Biafra has stated that the governor, Nyesin Wike and Willy Obiano of River State and Anambra State, respectively, allegedly bankrolled the adoption and repatriation of its leader, Mazen Namdekano. According to the statement made available by the IPOS spokesperson, Emma Powerful, to Sahara reporters on Thursday, the two governors willingly offered to aid the Nigerian government in capturing the Biafran secessionist leader to protect their political interests. The statement further revealed that the Minister of Labor and Employment, Dr. Chris Ngige, and its Igbo businessman, Chief Emeka Ofo, also previously played road played road in the Kano's current travel. The statement reads in part 
the indigenous people of Biafra IPOP, ably led by our great and indomitable leader, Mazinam De Kalo, has finally uncovered those behind the betrayal of our leader. Mazinam De Kalo to evil hands of Fulani controlled government of Nigeria through collaboration of Kenyan government and its secret services. Our crack intelligence, our crack intelligence unit has uncovered how the Chandra's governor, Nelson Wicker of River State, and Governor Willie Obiana of An Anambra State, greed, greedy Igbo businessman, Chief Emeka of Dr. Chris Mabweze Ngige, conspired to sabotage our leader to safeguard their selfish political and business interests. Our intelligence units, the M branch, discovered how a makeup of Orifite coordinated and financed the evil plot. We equally gather that the Nigerian government initially refused to commit the extraordinary rendition until a makeup for Nelson Wike and Willie Obiano agreed to bankroll the plots. In the statement titled, how we can Obiano Emeka of betrayed our leader. Review that the Nigerian government is in it again. They review that the Nigerian government initially declined to fund the operation, but this evil personality offered to carry the burden. It also discovered that Ofo plotted to establish another radio Biafra with 250 million to work against Nande Kano led separatist agenda. According to our investigation, the Nigerian government refused to sponsor the project, but this treacherous evil criminal volunteered to fund to, to fund the evil mission. We also uncovered how Emeka Ofo told some people that he was ready to provide 250 million to open another radio Biafra to counter our leaders, brokers on official radio Biafra. Should anything happen to our leader, Mazenam De Carlo, the fate of Judas will be more horrible than what will befall these traitors. Anybody close to those saboteurs should advise them to quickly go for the release of our leader, the way they trapped him into the net of the wicked Nigerian government. We, therefore, want to place it on record that these traitors, Nelson Wike, Willi Obiano, Emeka Ofo, Dr. Chris Ngige, and their collaborators are to be held accountable to however and the whatever that happens to our leader, Mazin and the Kano. They shall surely pay for their satanic role in abduction and rendition of our leader. Investigation is still ongoing to determine the level of each person involvement in this in the statement further reads and the statement reads in conclusion guys did you hear it now i made this video before and there was indictment of wicker in it and this uh sinotifan yoba but as it is now sinotifan yoba is not in it but they are saying if you followed me to read that Investigation is still ongoing. Investigation is still ongoing. Did you hear it now? Nelson Wike is one of the people that bankroll this particular evil act. And some of you will come here to tell me fake news. But anyway, you are entitled to your own opinion. Guys, I want to stop it here. I just want to bring this to your own notice once again. That fingers are still fingering on. We can and eat collaborators. Guys, what is your own take about this? How do you feel? What do you think that should be done to these people? And what do you think that Biafra will do over these people? Tell me your own opinion at the comment section. Please, as you comment, endeavor to comment constructively. Make sure you subscribe, guys, on the bell notification so that anytime I put out content out there, you will be the one to receive the message. That I have uploaded. We have a lot of reaction here from our people, but we cannot go into it. Let us do that at the comment section. I will leave you here. Carry on in the comment section, and I will see you again.